Hello and uh, welcome to another episode of Carp Lounge Tackle. Um, in this one, we're going to go into the autopilot functions. You know, so we're going to have a, a deep look at it, um, what you can do, what you can't do, um, all the rest of it. So let's get to it. So the first thing I do, basically, when I get to a lake, I mean, we'll say uh, we're fishing the point. You know, um, fairly easy. We set a home point. We'll call it home. Okay, so now that's the basis of everything we work from, you know, whether, you know, making a, a route or just driving to a point or anything like that. So the first thing um, you're going to look at is just like, let's create a point you want to drive to. Yeah, so we'll click there, um, call it test. Okay, job done, test. So we want to drive here. Yeah, you've got drive here and you've got drive here and trigger action. For now, we're just going to drive here. So you're fairly self-explanatory. Uh, we'll put the speed up to 100% um, just to let it sort of get there. And this is this is for when you like finding your spots, all the rest of it. You know, we get to routes later. Um, it's fairly easy to do. Not too much difficulty. It's okay. Now, if you notice also here, tablet position, uh, boat position, yeah? That'll always show the boat in the center of the screen. So if you look now, It'll always jog back to where the boat is in the center of the tablet. So you can see the boat's getting there now. Um, easy to do, not a problem. Okay, nearly there. As you can see up here, if you look at the slanted arrow, that's the distance you've got until that until it reaches that point. So nine meters, eight, seven, six, you know, it's nearly there and it's job done. So it's hit that position. Okay, so um, let's say we wanna create another spot. Okay, we'll call that test one. So for this for this one, um, we're going to go a little bit deeper into it. Yeah, uh, we're going to drive here, but we're going to drive here and trigger an action. That's really really um, easy to do. So if you if you if you're just going to drive there and empty the hoppers, that's fine. Um, I'm going to choose open both. Yeah. Um, so now, now what you're faced with, you've got approach normally. Now this is okay if you're pre-baiting or something like that, um, or if you're approached with stop and drop, this is where it slows down and then drops. Um, and because let's say I'm actually fishing now, so we're gonna approach with stop and drop, yeah? Start autopilot, okay? So basically it will drive there. When it gets to um, like 15, uh, 20 meters out, yeah? Then it will start slowing right down until basically it's, it's crawling speed and it'll open the hoppers. All fairly easy, you know. You get there, it's going to open both hoppers. Um, you could choose one, you know, if you just if you didn't want to pre-bait too much, it's not a problem. So 15, 14, 13. Now, 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 um, stop and drops activated. It'll be very slow, and you'll see there open hopper left, open hopper right. And then it, that's it, it stopped. You know, so you've got time to set your rig, do whatever, um, whatever you want to do. So for our next one, we're gonna we're gonna look into roots. Okay, so um, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to click here, and we're gonna create a route. Yeah. So I want it to drive here. That's the first place I want it to go. And then I'm gonna click it again. And if you right, I mean, you've got um, everything you need to do, you've got it in that bar at the bottom, so it's very easy to do. So, we're gonna go uh, open both, okay? Uh, we're just gonna approach it normally because it's a fairly you know, let's call it a big bar, whatever, you know, it's not a problem, okay? So, that's running now. Let's say we just want to save that route as well because it's going to be a route that we use a lot of the time. Um, we'll call it test route. Okay, job done. So there you go, it opens both hoppers. Now we're just going to drive to the home spot. Okay. 
and speed that up a little bit. Because then we're going to do more advanced routes, as in go to the route, uh, go to the waypoint, drop the hoppers, and return home. It's a little bit time consuming because obviously we're you know we're demoing everything, so it's it's slower than what it would be. Okay, eight meters, six meters, five meters, four, two. Right, so okay, we're on home. So now we want to uh, start a route. Okay, so we'll use this one. Now press it again. Um, spirals are not connected, but it, it could just be you want to release both spirals when it's drifting around that area. You could do that. You know, it's not a problem. So what we'll do is we'll have a hopper action, open both again, same thing. Yeah, um, we're going to approach with stop and drop because this time we're dropping bait as well. So once it's done that, then if we can do it okay start autopilot okay so they're the, they're the two variations you know you, you drive to the spot do nothing drive to the spot either activate spirals or activate hoppers you know whatever you want to do it's, it's fairly easy so what we're going to do now, we're just going to just drive the boat over here. It's just to move it out of the way of the spots. So just quickly drive here. So now what we're going to do, this is, uh, this is a really good feature. Uh, we're going to pause the autopilot. We're going to choose to stop the autopilot, okay? So now it's stopped. So now we want to uh, create a route, yeah? We want it to... go there, and we want it to drop both hoppers. So open both, yeah? And then we want it to return home. Stop and drop. One. Okay. Start autopilot. drive here now normally you you can actually um put the home point into the app as well on this one it's not working so well um but you can do the second waypoint after you've done the first one where you you know you release the action and all the rest of it that's 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 not a big problem so it's driving home speed it up okay it's there now So if you look at that, that's actually where the tablet is, yeah? Um, just so you know, you know, that's what it's there for. Um, but we want to see boat position. But that'll always be the tablet, if you know what I mean. So this icon here. Boat, there we go. So the boat is centred, uh, centred, so that's not a problem. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to go through. So in the folders, that's that's where your, your routes and your points are saved and all the rest of it, yeah? Um, fairly self-explanatory there. So let's create a route. See if we can do it this time. We're going to go to test, and we're going to um, hoppers, open both, usual, you know, it could be spirals, they're not connected because it's the app, all the rest of it. Uh, approach normally, yeah? We went to return home. Then we start autopilot. Now what it will do now is it will go there autonomously, drop the bait and return home. Now this is the method I use uh, most of the time, if I'm honest. You know, a lot of the guys, they, they don't do it that way. They, they literally just drive to the spot and then they do the fine adjustments afterwards. It's not, it, you know, it's whatever your preferences are, you know, and the kind of lakes you're fishing. Do you need to be fishing exactly on that bar or on that plateau, whatever? You know, is there a weed bank? Um, something like that. So it all depends how you're fishing, you know. So it's 29 metres, 28, 27. 
So let's hit the spot. Let's drop both hoppers. Boat's returning all the way to home. So, I mean, it doesn't get any simpler than that. And then, as I say, um, you can save it. Yeah. So once again, we'll give that one um, test two. It's not a problem. And that's it. That's that's all there is to it. You know, the autopilot is um, simple to use, and also you know it, it, you can go more in depth. You know, like this. You know, so it's not it's not a big problem. Whichever way you fish, if you if you want to drive to the spot um, with the autopilot and then finish off the last adjustments yourself because it is a small area you're fishing, um, that's fine. You know, this is this is a uh, it doesn't it, it, there's no right way to do it. You know, it's whatever's for the fishing situation, whatever you're looking for. I hope you've learned something today and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.